I would say the biggest piece of advice that I have about reviewing is that you need to figure out what you think. A review is not just simply your opinion about something. It's not just, I like this, I thought this was bad, I thought this was good. That's not a review, that's not criticism, that's an opinion. Um, it doesn't help anyone else figure anything out about that movie. I'm A.O. Scott. I'm one of two chief film critics at the New York Times. I review comedies, action movies, um, sad movies, happy movies, boring movies, um, and I get to see them all and write about them all. One thing that you do want to avoid is too much plot summary. It's much more important to use that information that you give about the plot and the characters and, and, and what happens to talk about what the movie is like, which is not exactly the same. To de describing and summarizing are two different things because a description can draw on all different aspects and all different parts of a movie. What does it look like? What are you seeing when you're looking at the screen? Are the colors bright? Are they dark? Is it in black and white? What does the music sound like? What do the sets look like? Is it realistic? Is it fantastical? All of these things really matter a lot because they're helping someone form a picture in their mind of what they're gonna see if they go see this movie. So what you have to do, the most important thing is to figure out what your opinion is and how you're gonna explain it to someone else. You have a reader who wants to know what you think and wants to know, this is the most important thing, why you think what you think. Why didn't you like that movie? Why did you like that movie? What was good about it? What was boring about it? What was exciting about it? Your job is to explain that, not just to state the opinion. Um, your opinion is, is valuable, it's your opinion. You have a right to it. But the only way you get anyone else interested in it is if you can explain it to them. You, you want to, to really convey your enthusiasm without just throwing adjectives at movies. Um, you, wanna, you, wanna, you wanna be persuasive. You wanna write just as well when you're praising something as you, as you did when you were attacking something. If, it, if it's a positive review, um, you wanna kind of calculate your language so that you're conveying that you like this movie. Infuse your language with with feeling, with, with passion, with energy. Um, and sometimes that's negative. Sometimes you really don't like something. So you want to find the language and sometimes it's, it's um, a kind of language of, of mockery, of making fun of something, um, of, of, of being sort of um, mean and clever. I like to have three or four days or a week just to sort of process the experience. A lot of times you, you walk out of a movie. Movies are very powerful art form. It's a very powerful medium. You know, they, they, the movie, movies can manipulate you using you know, music and, and, and action and, and, and all kinds of uh, techniques to, to sort of to, to generate feelings in you. So I, I, I like to let those feelings sit and cool down for a while and think about, well, why, you know, yes, okay, I was choked up at that at that emotional scene because the music was playing and the and, and the actors were, were were doing something but really the story didn't earn that 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 kind of um, emotion it is in the end my job to see these movies and to be helpful to people to help them in a way figure out based on their own tastes and their own interests whether something will be worth their time and money